right, folks, welcome back once again. We are continuing on with our uh, project here, just detailing further our superhero, and we're, we're most of the way there. Uh, we've added our shadows. Next, we're going to add in some highlights. And for the highlights, we're going to start in much the same way we did with the shadows, where we're going to use the lasso tool to select some kind of specific little blocks but in um, much lower quantities and area than we did with the um, the shadows earlier. We're just going to pick some really specific smaller areas here. You don't want to overpower everything with your highlights. Just a little bit. Ultimately, we, we do want the piece to blend well. So I'm just kind of doing this again. Please don't worry about making them perfect. It is not your biggest concern. And besides, it's just practice. Let's worry more about the process than the, than the technique. Um, so as I did before, and again, you don't have to do it this way, but I'm just going to go back into my hue and saturation controls. And I'm just going to lighten that stuff up a little bit. And there we go. We just got some kind of basic um, little bright spots there. Next step, we're going to go back to where you had our burn tool, and we're going to right-click it. And another option on it is the dodge tool. Uh, for the dodge tool, it works much the same way as the burn tool does. You have your ranges and exposures. Um, in order to save time, again, this time we're going to use exposure of 100. And we're going to stay in midtones. Basically, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to... on our superhero here. Just gonna add in some more highlights. So you see as I go over certain areas you'll see them kind of start to brighten up. Um, you can add you know it's a good idea to add some detailed highlights in certain places. Um, again we're not worried so much about the finished product here today as we are about the technique so I'm just going to kind of randomly drop some of these in here. But you are going to have certain places that it's going to be pretty consistent. We're going to use this to even out some of the colors up here on the cape. And then you're going to go to your areas where you know you're going to have your most light falling. And you're just going to brighten them up a little bit. You see how that lasso tool is kind of paying off and, and leading some, uh, some depth remember you don't have to be perfect with it. Mostly practicing technique right now. Okay, almost done with all this.
dodge tool, so we've added a lot of uh, a lot of highlights there. Added some more depth to the piece. It's looking pretty good. Um, from here on, you would really just um, start doing some detail work. Um, what I mean by that is, you see, for instance, the hair looks a little looks a little sloppy here. Um, we don't have to redo anything. We've got some some cool little um, tricks here that we can use for this. For instance, you have your smudge tool. I'm going to have this at about half strength, normal, and I'm going to make it a little smaller, about a 21 here. And if we feel like, say for instance, that our angles in the hair came out a little too sharp, I'm just going to kind of smudge them out a little bit. Got some kind of unnatural, you know, little lasso hiccups here. And then uh, to add a little bit more depth, just going to pull some of the dark out a little bit. Then we're going to do the same on some of the uh, skin tone here. Came out maybe a little too sharp, so I'm just going to kind of smudge that around a little bit. Adds a more lifelike quality to the character. I'm not going to do this everywhere because we really don't have to, and we want a little bit of it to stay a little abstract. It is a comic book drawing after all. Just want to check around. And then here where uh, we have problems like this little bit of uh, um, gray that we missed here on the cape, we did intend to carry that down and that's very easily done with the smudge tool. I'm just going to kind of smudge that up under there. And no problem. Taken care of. I'd like a little bit finer of a transition from the shadow into the white. So I'm going to do a little bit of that with the smudge tool. Again, just smudging it out, giving it a little bit more of a natural feel. This is another, just another example of blending. And you don't have to do this, but it's just another technique. And there we go. Now for the for the basics, our character is pretty much colored here. This is very similar to what a uh, professional basic comic book coloring piece looks like. Um, you, uh, there are definitely some more advanced things that we're going to do, and if you want to continue on, then we'll uh, we're going to do some more advanced stuff in the in the next couple of tutorials, such as adding backgrounds, textures, uh, brushes, some some extra things you can do to make the work a little bit more fun. And we'll move on to that. But for now, I'll go ahead and save the work, and uh, we've got a nice, fine little basic uh, comic book piece here. Also, I'm going to be putting this line up, uh, this line art up on the page. Uh, at the collective, so if you'd like to give this a try yourself and you want to color this exact line art, I'm going to put it up there for you. So if any of you want to give it a try, you can. So again, thanks for following the basic parts of the detailed coloring tutorials here, and it, we hope you move on to the next stuff because there's more fun to be had. So thanks again for joining us. Again, check out the Overground Comics Collective on DeviantArt at overgroundcomics.deviantart.com, and hopefully we'll be posting some more of these tutorials soon. If you have any questions, uh, note me directly either here or on the DeviantArt site and we'll try to fill in some of the details we may, we may have missed here because that's definitely understandable. So thanks again for joining me and I'll uh, see you guys again real soon.